Hello, we welcome listeners. This is Ali Nese, and I've just come back fresh from a presentation that I had over in Long Beach, uh, California. And the presentation was at the Queen Mary uh, boat at the Long Beach Harbor, which is a beautiful venue. Had a wonderful time. Lots of great, great. Uh, uh, attendance and uh, I had the pleasure also of sharing the podium uh, with uh, my colleague Dr. Ann Koch uh, and uh, I wanted to share with you a little uh, part or a little excerpt from this presentation that Anna and I had and uh, I hope you enjoy it. The holy grail here is a monoblock. So in other words think about what we we're talking about. Um, one of the products I had developed years ago was a product called uh, Smear Clear uh, I was by Cybrone, and when I got the SEMs back, not only was all the inorganic removed and, and, and the smear layer, but I, I could see I could get huge pegs of glass ionomer going into the tubules. So I realized, oh my gosh, now I not only have a chemical retention, I have a mechanical. Same thing with the canal clean with the glass ionomer. So when Ollie puts in the bioceramic sealer on the wall side, he's getting both a chemical bond as well as a mechanical. With the cone, the, the bioceramic cones have the bioceramic particles in inside of them as well as being coated. What he's ending up doing, regardless of the shape, he's getting a monoblock. And that is a big deal in terms of sealing a root canal system. Yeah, the same way with uh, proper bonding of your composites. And this is the PENS endo program and the international program. After they do these extracted teeth, they section them, and this is the way it looks. You look at it in cross-section, you can see that you have your cone in the middle and the cement, because it's hydrophilic, it flows into these oval areas and cleans it well. Let me just say one thing. Um, when you go into the research, you see a lot of research coming out of the University of Pennsylvania endodontic department, and I'm very involved. I go down from uh, Cape Cod to Philadelphia parts of three weeks a month, and I'm very involved with the school. Penn Endo is the only department, uh, endo department in the country, that we take no money. Uh, we do a lot of CE all over the world. I was in China for three months, for three weeks doing surgical, non-surgical courses. We generate each year about $600,000 in CE, and we use that money for research. So when all this stuff comes out, the reason that, that Penn is using bioceramics, not just in endodontics, but even in uh, perio and in pediatric dentistry, it's not because of me personally, it's because it works. And I think that's really important because so much research has been managed or fudged by money. When we're doing it, we do it independently. We don't take any money, and that's what it is. I just wanted to have you point out one thing, the bottom left image. That's the whole idea about what creates the seal. It's not the gutta percha. It's the sealer. That's what's so perfect about that. And so let's show you a couple of images now to add on, add on to that, okay? First one here, what we're going to show is going to be a thermothal block. And, you know, thermophil goes out, gets heated, and moves around. So you can't get that with a single cone. Nonsense. You most assuredly can get a three-dimensional fill with a single cone. So there it is. There's the bioceramic being placed by syringe in the coronal half of the canal. You're now going to come in, and you can use a coated cone or a non-coated cone. Coming in, slowly driving. Now take a look at the hydraulics and look at how it goes. But there's a big difference between this and heated alpha and heated beta gutta percha. What's the difference? It doesn't shrink when it sets. And the bonding. And the bonding, both, okay? So that's a huge difference. Hydrophilic. Now let's take a look at another image here. I think the next one, this is gonna be a three-dimensional scan of what a root canal system looks like. And it's a system. It's webs, fins, anastomoses, isthmuses, okay? So how can we clean these areas? And then if we clean them, how can we fill it? We can use ultrasonic activation, acoustic streaming to clean out these areas, but how can we fill it and not have dimensional change? We now have the ability to fill these three-dimensionally. A great example was a case that Ollie did in Boston a few years ago. Take a look at this thing. Even though it's his case, I'm gonna talk over it because I love this. So this was the, the case that had been done and Ali knew that was a suspected fracture. He's going to show the long version. I usually show an edited version of this. I mean, Ali, what happened? A tooth didn't bait work out. It basically came back fractured, right? Yeah. So it was fractured. There was a, on the distal area, you can see, it was broken down. So we figured we'll remove the tooth. You could see the fracture line here underneath the onlay. 
and make a good learning experience out of it. The goal here is now to, so we had a C-shaped root, obviously, as you guys saw on that x-ray. We put three cones in there. As you can see, it's a conical root at this maxillary mandibular second molar. Go ahead, then. What I want you to do is I want you to take a look, because this is basically like a monoblock. Because we used to have a diagram of a monoblock where they got a percha and the sealer around it. The sealer is not dimensionally changing. It's expanding. It's bonding. So now, look at this. When Ollie gets up towards the CEJ higher up, it's the horseshoe shape. It's a true C, okay? And look at this. How can, you, how can you get any other technique to fill an anatomical challenge like this, like here, with the bioceramics? I think this is absolutely incredible. When we showed this to endodontists, they're kind of stunned. And at first, they don't quite understand the science and the rationale. But when you understand this, Ollie, this is like a game changer. Chemical right bond here, right across. OK, it's great to share the presentation. That was for the first time with Dr. Kosh. And I look forward to having more presentations with her. I hope you can catch us uh, on the road at one of these seminars that are coming up in your neck of the woods. And you can check that uh, venue at therubledendo.com in the schedule of our seminars uh, over there. And I hope to see you guys all in person in uh, one of the upcoming seminars. For Rubledendo, I'm Ali Nese, and I hope you found this presentation helpful.